in ancient times, back at the last part of Undertale. My mind is blown. And now let's continue. Uh, I'm gonna do my actual intro in a second here. I just gotta think it through before I say it and fuck it up. Yeah, it's not like you can't cut it or anything. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I might keep that one in. If it but diddly do, everybody, I'm gonna be playing Undertale once again. It's been a fucking while, but I have Pop Tarts, I have Kool Aid, I have my phone right next to me. As you can hear, my sister is in the background, and she might be offering commentary for the game as we go through this, but, uh. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking fun, and awesome, and lovely, and we're going to go all the way back to Alphys, because I gotta do that. And you're gonna watch the whole entire time that I walk there, because. Fuck it, you guys love boring, tedious shit, right? Not it's so. It's very Zelda. That's what I thought, actually, too. That is. N tell me that it's not an upside down Hylian shield right there. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it looks. It like looks like the Temple of time. time. Yeah, Navi at the top, exactly. Hey, listen. No. <laughs> oh, that's right. I thought it went into the elevator after that. Nope. Oh boy. Everyone can watch this because they have lots of determination. Determination. I used that in the last episode when I was fighting Flowey, actually. It was like, determination, motherfucker. Do you speak it? It was awesome. I don't even know where that one came out of. Probably my ass. It's always the ass. Always the ass. But yeah, you get to actually spectate the, uh, the date with, um, Alphys, like, straight up. And that's, uh, that's, that's awesome. Ring! Why is my phone ringing this time? This is weird, actually. Because this didn't happen the last time that I backtracked. Hey! Uh, this is Undyne. Shut up, Papyrus! This was your idea! Human! You have to deliver something for me. Uh, please? I'm at Snowden in front of Papyrus's. See you there, punk! I fucking love Undyne. She's the best. <laughs> she is literally my favorite character in this game. Fucking love Papyrus. Uh, did I, I said Papyrus, didn't I? Or was going to. But, my god, I love Undyne. She's the best. Heats Flamesman. Yes, that's his name. Heats Flamesman. I had to think about that for a minute. I didn't cheat this time, guys. Are you proud of me? Is Senpai proud? Senpai, notice me, please. This is not the right direction to go. I wonder if I can say hi to Spider Lady, though. Uh Can I buy these for, like, a normal price, or, uh, I was hoping to buy food. I'd buy your spider donuts if they weren't worth every G in my inventory. I don't even know how much a G is. How much is a G? What's a G? I'm a G. Are you a G? I need a G. <laughs> A and B conversation. See yourself out of it before D jumps over E and F's you up like a G. Fucking stupidest little thing ever. <laughs> oh, God. What does G even stand for when it comes to fucking... Yeah, that's what I was just thinking, too. I was like, is it gangster? There is no response. That is problematic. I probably gotta... Yeah, maybe that is how that works. Maybe you're supposed to fail in order to get this thing so that you can deliver something to Alphys, probably? I wonder if it's a love letter. It's gotta be a love letter, right? Like, from Undyne to Alphys. It's gotta be a love letter, right? Oh, here I was thinking of an actual boat. <laughs> no, no, it's a Nancat, actually. I don't know if I can edit the music in there or not. I'll figure it out later. I don't know if that counts as copyright. <laughs> I 
Well, I mean, it's a meme. It's not really a copyrighted no, thing, I don't no, think. No. So, like... No, I was talking about the Pope. Oh. It looks like, it looks like one of the Lady Brady calling you Jake's kids. Oh my god, that was what I was saying before, too, I think. I think I compared it. Um, so, I have a favor to ask you. Uh, I... I need to deliver this lever. I don't know if I said that properly or not. You said lever. To Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, that's awesome. Zoom in on that face, Barry. Zoom in on it now. It's kind of personal, but we're friends, so... I'll tell you. Hotland sucks! So I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. You got the Undyne's letter. Oh! And if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much, you're the best. Can I actually get an option to read it? I'm not going to, but can I actually get the option to do that? I really... I want to use it, but I'm not going to. Save it and then save it. <laughs> Well, this game has, like, a permanent system where anything that you do, like, it'll save it. So I wonder if it winds up, like, if you read it and then go back, I wonder if it's, like, a I know what you did thing. Because <laughs> they would do that. It feels great to get back into this game. Spiders have a favorite food of spiders. That's disturbing. Okay. Why can't they just eat Temi flakes? <laughs> I wonder if eating Temi flakes is also cannibalism, though. Never said it was made with real Temi. <laughs> real and artificial Temi. Yeah, it's made with Bob. Huh. No! Yes, I'll slide it. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. C can't I just slide it back out? No. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um, it's shut kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. What was that noise? Hey, if this is a joke, it's... Oh my god! Did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have... Oh my god. Oh no. That's adorable. <laughs> and I had no idea you um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all the gross stuff I did. I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Much less... Um... This? And so passionately, too. Oh, I see where this is going. You know what? Okay. I'll do this. It's the least I can do to make up for you. Make it up for you. Yeah! Let's go on a date. Oh god, we're doing this. We're doing this! Chelsea, can you say the dating start in the, uh, Asian voice, please? Asian man voice dating start now, come on. You have to. You must. It is your calling. <laughs> Dating to start the... You did it. Chelsea did that. No, that was Chelsea did that. That was you. Uh, sorry. Still getting dressed. Somebody cat call. You can do that one. Yeah, so I can't whistle. <laughs> <laughs> How do I, I look? I literally can't whistle. <laughs> My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of, um, anyway, let's do this thing. Let's do this shindig. Hey, wait. Actually, we can't start the date yet. D dating stop? Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic, right? That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the day. Right? Well, that's how it works in video games, so I don't see why it wouldn't apply here. 
Anyway, I, don't worry, I'm prepared. I've been stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. She's fucking prepared. Damn. First, I've got... <laughs> some metal armor polish. She knows me so well. Metal armor polish? You know that I'm a level 47 paladin. Um, maybe you can't use that. No, I need it! I have to go and kill Indariel after this. But... I also brought some waterproof cream for your scales. Okay, that one, not so much. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about... Yes. <laughs> this magical spear repair kit that I... Um... Hey, let's forget about the items. Gee, I wonder who those are for. Let's just start the day. Yeah, let's, uh, date. The pause. Uh... Do you... like... anime? Yes. Hey, me too! Hey, let's go somewhere. Do you like mudkips? But where's a good place to go on a date? I got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. It works. Here we are. Not everyone wants to have their date in squalor. Yes. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. <laughs> She's really... Uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her come see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey! There you are. I, uh, realized if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it. Yeah. Have you at least seen her? Where should I go with this one, Chelsea? Did I see her? Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, she's somewhere around here. Thanks. I'll keep looking. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, glob! Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. I'm sorry. I just... Figured, you know, it, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. Yeah, it does. I'm sorry. I messed up again. Undyne's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool, but Undyne... She's so confident, strong, and funny, and she can bench press 400 pounds. <laughs> she probably can bench. And I'm just a nobody. A fraud. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I tell there's so many lies, she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... Well, she'll find out the truth about me. I do? Tell her the truth. The truth? If I tell her that, she'll hate me. This turned into a soap opera right quick, like every soap opera ever. Is it better this way? To live a lie where both people are happy? For a truth where neither of us are. To say, be yourself. But I don't like really who myself is. Is myself who, like, really don't eye butts. Jeez. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. I'm scared. I'm scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. 
sure I'll get hurt because of him. But how can I tell Undyne the truth? I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's roleplay. Obviously, let's roleplay. Obviously. Roleplay? Yes, we will RP. It actually sounds kind of fun. I will be King Jorgenshire V of Bostonia. Which of us will be undone? I think it'd be best if I was undone. Oh! Right, obviously. <laughs> I am. Hi, I'm done. How are you doing today? I'm fine. <laughs> but here. Uh, so I'd like to um, talk to you about something. <laughs> X, let me level with you for a minute. What is it, Alphys? Um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You see, I, I, oh, forget it. Undyne, I, I to tell you how I feel. You're so brave, and strong, and nice, and have wonderful biceps. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. By telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne! I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, God. <laughs> Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, only romantically role playing as you. What? I mean, I mean, Undyne. I I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like, what? Oh my god, I can't read that. I, I'll slow it down later, maybe. Because I can't read that. Alphys. <laughs> I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think that I was smart and cool, that I was some nerdy loser. Alphys. Undyne, I really think you need, okay? Alphys! Shh. Just... Shh. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Alphys! I think you need to, I guess. But, you gotta realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you is that you're passionate. You're analytical. Doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. Unlimited power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to anyone anymore. Alphys. I want to help you become happy with who you are. I don't know just the training you need to do that. Undyne, you... You're gonna train me? What? Me? Oh god! <laughs> now I'm gonna get Papyrus to do it. Get those bones shaken. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Who better than him for self-confidence lessons, though? That is so fucking true. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. Undyne. <laughs> I'll do my best. Oh my god. 
she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics. Those are still real, right? Anime's real, right? Oh, there's where the meme is. <laughs> if you heard how fast the fucking music is right now. Uh, not real or real. Anime is real. <laughs> I knew it! Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, thanks for taking care of Alvis. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but... Things seem like they're going to get better for him. Well, I had to go catch up with them. Later! I was waiting for a punk. I know where this is. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Garbage comes in brands? I bet one of them is called Lonely Island. That's not making a joke of the band being horrible, I'm just saying. I bet one brand is Stingy Pete. Yeah, probably. Willie Pete. Ring, ring! Howdy! If it isn't my good friend who trusts me. This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now... I feel strongly and for no apparent reason, you should also go there. To her. Lab. House. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I love the way he talks. <laughs> Send her home. Very home. It's fucking funny. Oh, wait. That's the boat that's down. I'm going to Temi Village right now. Well then, that was an interesting chain of events then. The waters are wild today, that's bad luck. So now I can actually get into the room. The house, or whatever. What the fuck ever that it's called. Yeah, like that. Where did she go? There's a letter here. It's a note from Alphys. Read it? Yes. It's hard to read because of the handwriting, but you try your best. Hey! Thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I don't want to be afraid anymore. And for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear. This isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again, if you want to know the truth, Enter the door to the north of this note. You all at least deserve to know what it is I did. And that's all she wrote. Alright, well. Nothing else to do here. Warning! Warning! Elevator losing power. M tether uh, stability loss. Altitude dropping. What? I said that's what she did, she killed Frisk. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. Oh god. This is Resident Evil now. Like, really Resident Evil now. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. 
I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. She got James Brown. That's what happened. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Yeah, totally. It was James Brown that made the barrier. Got it. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. She killed James Brown, too, apparently. The Souls of Monsters. Oh, I don't want to read it again. Fuck. Okay. Entry number three. What? Mm -hmm. Probably. I also think this is going to be the end of the game, too. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. If this is going down the path that I think that it's actually going in right now, I think this is the end of the game right here. Or at least really you know, fucking close to the end know, of the game. Extracting the soul of a living monster from me that contraption for monsters, Inc. <laughs> oh my god, yes. It, like, just paled the dude. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And, unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster so last. <coughs> I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. To resolve the change... To the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power... Determination. Yeah, I literally think this is going down the path that I think it is right now for Undertale. So we're going to cut the episode right here, and then I'll go back in on the next part, and then maybe I'll throw it all into one episode. I'm not sure, but either way, I think this is literally it. So I will see you guys in the next video, and I'm not going to... Yeah, I'll put the music in here. Fuck it. But yes, I will see you later. Ta-ta for now. Bye! She said bye. <laughs>